My name is Melissa. Um, I've been doing martial arts since I was six years old, and um, I loved it ever since. And once I was like about like nine, I reached purple belt, and I just suddenly like lost interest in it. So I was so I quit and I started doing basketball. I was doing basketball like within like the clubs, like within like the cities and within like the city. So I kept on doing that, and then seventh grade came, and I was just like, why not do martial arts again? So I continued. I came back and I picked up where I left off at Purple Belt. A whole year passed, eighth grade, and I was on the demo team, which is our performance team. We perform in the city of Le Havre, and um, like at special events or our activities or our open house as well. So I would perform, I would do all kinds of stuff and um, represent the Fraser martial arts. And I was also a storm team member, like a helper within the classrooms for the instructors. And I wasn't an instructor yet, so I was hoping to get there because that's what I've been wanting to do ever since I was, ever since I started. So I continued my training and everything, and for we had a performance coming up, so I had to. We had a practice, and there was. I was one of the people to do a flying sidekick, which is the logo right here when you have to run, and your leg uh, tucks in and then you jump and you're flying in like the air and your leg tucks in while this leg is kicking out. So as like, so they put down one pad just to see if I could actually do it. So they put down one pad about like this big, at a run and jump over it and I hit the pad perfectly. They put down a second one so now it's like even a bigger gap. So from here to like, maybe like right about here. So I had to jump over it, I did it perfectly again. They put down a third pad. So it's an even bigger gap now. So I run, I jump over it and the leg that's supposed to be tucked in kind of went down a little too early and my body still kept on going and um, my knee kind of bent this way. So I I started crying obviously and it was horrible. So I went to the doctor later on that night and I got x-rays, they said I just sprained it. So just to stay off of it for like a month. So I was like, okay, well the month isn't bad. So I, I came back and I started training again like nothing. So freshman year, I started doing basketball for like my PE credits and stuff like that. So I would run and I would notice that my knee would kind of go side to side a little bit. I'm like, well, that's not normal. So I went to the doctor, got an MRI, and they just walked in and told me, oh, you have, need to have surgery. Good luck. And I was like, oh, thanks. So I went and I got surgery. And it, I thought this was going to set me back like a whole, like, a whole bunch because from like my career for martial arts. So I got my black belt luckily before. And um, I a whole year of recovery, and I went through a whole year of recovery doing doing basketball uh, after six months of recovery. Then I was out for out of martial arts for a whole year, so it set me back a whole lot. I wasn't able to kick like how I used to, and I needed to become a lefty now to lean on my good leg and kick with my bad leg. So it was it was okay. So I started coming back, I started training after the whole year of recovery and um, they noticed that I, during my recovery I was in crutches and I would always come back and visit them. I would always, like, they were like another family to me. You couldn't pay me to stay away from them. It, it's, I love it. So I, I was training, I came back and I started training again and they pulled me into the office and they offered me a job. I didn't have to apply for it. They offered me the job, so because they saw that how determined I was to come back, they saw that I wanted this. So they offered me the job. I started crying and everything. I was like, oh my god! I was like, this is actually happening. I was like, oh my gosh! And I was all embarrassed. I was like, oh my gosh! So um, I have been teaching them for about like two and a half years. I've been an instructor at Fraser Martial Arts, and um, I am now a first degree black belt in martial arts in Taekwondo. I do jujitsu, I do Krav Maga, I do, um, what is it, oh my gosh, Ta uh, Thai kickboxing, all kinds of stuff. Uki Campo, all pressure point stuff and stuff like that. So it's awesome and I get to go to work every single day and doing what I love. And I started that at, fi at 15 years old. And this will be my job until the day I die. So it's, I get to go to work in my pajamas pretty much. It's all big baggy <laughs> clothes, black belt, and then it's like, get to teach anywhere from 18 months to 60 year olds, so it's awesome. So, yeah, that's my story.